You're watching. Hey, hey. ABC. Would you like some cocoa with your marshmallows, Fred? Just think. In three days, we'll know what's in every one of those presents. Why wait? You cut, and I'll close. Step away from those presents, boys. As the Bible said, for every temptation, God will provide a way out. Here I am. <laughs> Okay, let's do our Christmas list so we can send it off to St. Nick. Kenny, Andy, what can we ask Santa to bring you? A car. A million bucks. Got it. Socks and underwear. Fred, do you know what you want from Santa? Yes, but I want to tell Santa myself. And Freddie, remember last year at the mall? You know, you got kind of scared of Santa. You threw up all over his beard. Still my favorite Christmas video. Especially when we run it backwards. get a lot for your money there. And we feel that that's extremely important because we're able to buy maybe one or two more outfits that we wouldn't have been able to buy. At Walmart, there's a style to make you smile. Disney's Flubber has bounced into McDonald's and theaters near you for a holiday event that's gonna rock. For a limited time, our very own tempting and cheesy triple cheeseburger is back for just 99 cents. Or you can kick off your morning with a world-famous 99-cent Egg McMuffin. But you better get moving. Go Flubber. Go Flubber. Or you'll flub up your chance to get your hands on one. Funniest Videos is now an all-new show. How can you be sure? You can tell it's new because we're here. She is good. Daisy Fuentes and John Kugelsang host videos two weeks from Monday on ABC. Thursday, an amazing discovery. A penny's worth of vitamins could seriously reduce your risk of heart attack or stroke. What are they? Watch 2020 Thursday. Joyful and triumphant, don't come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Hi, Glenda. How is the Christmas party at the Senior Citizen Center? Oh, well, it really got rocking after that first glass of eggnog. Old man Sutter gets up and said, Let's play strip canasta! <laughs> well, after the second glass, I was shuffling the cards. <laughs> Did you win? Believe me, there were no winners. <laughs> well, you'll cheer up when you see what I'm cooking you for Christmas dinner. Well, I know what you're cooking us. A nice, big, country-style ham. Oh, no. You're getting a little tubby, I'm afraid. <laughs> I think a vegetarian meal would be much healthier. Lentil loaf. <laughs> Glenda, read my tubby lips. <laughs> ham. Holy night! The woman's got a knife! <laughs> Hello, Todd. Do you need anything chopped, sliced, or diced? Oh, no. Everything I have is just fine the way it is. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the basement. Hey, did you get Meredith's new trampoline? Yeah, I hid it over the church. It's ready to be assembled. I hope you can read Korean. Wa jong shi dun o dinichinika. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, so if you need me, just jingle my bell. <laughs> I love saying that. All right, Hogs. Off to the mall. Santa awaits. Hey, Dad, what do you want for Christmas? Peace on Earth, goodwill towards men, and one less child. I'll let you work that out among yourselves. Very funny, Dad. You don't have to get me anything. All I want is a beautiful Christmas morning with three of my four children. <laughs> Again, I'll let you work that out among yourselves. Okay, straighten it out. Stay within the boundaries of Candy Cane Lane. I repeat, mall people, stay within the boundaries of Candy Cane Lane. Watch your hand. Man, that elf's a jerk. Now, now, Meredith, it must be pretty difficult being an elf. Those pointy shoes say bad bunions to me. Merry Christmas, Mr. Elf. Yeah, kid, deck the halls, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Shampoo, just a suggestion. Man, everything's so expensive. What are we gonna get Dad? How about her? <laughs> She's too young for Dad. I mean, for me. <laughs> yeah, what woman couldn't resist a man who has zits and a beard with four hairs? <laughs> Hi, free sample of our newest men's fragrance. I'm a man. I like to be fragrant. Very smooth. Look, we could always put it in Dad's stocking. When we visit him from our college apartment. Hey, but all the stores have free samples. So? So we can hit the entire mall, give Rep all the free stuff, and bingo! Dad has a present! Yeah. What other free stuff do you have? Have you boys been to see Santa yet? Oh, no, the line's too long. <laughs> and we have to get back to college. I'm sorry, Todd, I didn't know it would take this long. I'll make my apologies to the choir. What? Yeah, I think it would be okay to sing Six Geese A-Laying in front of the kids. <laughs> Hey, big shot. No cell phones allowed in Santa land. Okay, I'll be done in a second. Yeah, you're done now. I'll take that back. Thank you. You're messing up our walkie-talkies. Well, we wouldn't want to be out of touch with Elf Central, would we? <laughs> Listen, Padre. If you didn't have elves working crowd control, you know what you'd have here? Anarchy. Okay, I, I empathize. It's a crazy time of the year for me, too. Toys for Tots, Christmas pageant, choir practice. I, I understand. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Excuse me, may I have a word in private with you, Mr. Gumdrop? <laughs> you know, all your rules and your nitpicking are kind of ruining the Christmas spirit here. Too bad. When you passed that gingerbread house, you crossed into Santa Land. And in Santa Land, I am the law. <laughs> Get with reality, pal. Santa Land, this is a department store. I mean, last month, your entire nation here was a runway for some big butt fashion show. Yeah, what'd you buy? <laughs> okay, I understand that you have a tough and demanding job. Especially for a tall elf. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I guess the smaller elves don't let you join in any reindeer games. <laughs> Are you busting my chaps? What kind of minister are you? Okay, look, I'm sorry, but, you know, I really sense that you're going through some deep personal crisis here or something. And I'm trained to help people like you. And by St. Stephen's and Royal Oak, I'd be happy to pray with you anytime. Gee, thanks. It is a wonderful life. <laughs> you know, I've just about had enough of your crap. Nice mouth. You kiss your savior with that? Great, let's get out of here. Oh, no, 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 you don't. You stepped out of Candy Cane Lane. What? If you step out of Candy Cane Lane, you have to start at the end of game. We were talking to you. And you weren't talking very nicely, were you? 
Come on, Junior. End of the line. I want to see Santa. I want. I want. That's all I hear. Leave my Come son on. alone. Go, kids. Go. Oh, go no. for it. No. 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 Oh. Sector five. Sector five. Gumdrop to Jelly Bean. We have a code three. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. And what is your name? Uh-oh. Daddy, I don't feel so good. Santa, cover your beard! <laughs> 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 Thanks, honey. It's the best sermon I ever heard. Meredith, it's 10 o'clock on Christmas Eve. Santa knows you've been good. You can punch up now. Merry Christmas, Father! Look! It's the elf from Santa Land! What are you doing up there? You said to drop by any time, so in about five seconds, I'm gonna be dropping by your left ear. What? I'm gonna jump. Jump! Oh! Right! Uh, because elves uh, can hop merrily from rooftop to rooftop. It's part of their magic. Cool! Jump, 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 jump! Shh, shh. Uh, Fred, Meredith, I want you to go to your rooms and go right to bed. I have to have a grown-up talk with Mr. Gumdrop. <laughs> it's about your presence. Darn. I wanted to see him jump. <laughs> Now, stay right there. I'm I'm coming up, and we'll we'll talk. Wait. Got anything to eat? Now? No. After I kill myself. <laughs> of course. Yes. Uh, give me five minutes. I'll get some Christmas cookies and uh, coffee. And don't try to call the cops. I hear a siren. I'm airborne. <laughs> Great Carolyn, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas. Joyeux Noel. Feliz Navidad. Yo, James. Happy Kwanzaa. And Sally. You know what I mean. Oh, what a cute elf decoration. Uh, and it's animated. Wow, Father Mike must have put this up this afternoon. Wait a minute. It's turning around. Oh, my Lord! Father Mike! Don't look now, but the holidays are here, and there's a better way to save at Kmart. All the best gifts are all at Kmart's best prices. Save on men's jeans, slacks, and casual pants. Buy one pair, get a second pair, 50% off. This 19-inch GE Color TV with remote is just $169.99. Save on professionally assembled Huffy adult and kids' bikes. Take 25% off all ladies' sleepwear and robes. A whole store full of famous name brands and low, low prices. This holiday, there's a better way to save. Kmart. Welcome to KFC. Colonel Strips, please. Extra crispy and spicy buffalo. It's going to be a big night. Colonel Strips are great when you're on the go. This three-strip meal is just $2.99. Julia, you've been a very good girl. <laughs> Introducing Hall Zinc Defense Dietary Supplement. To help you stay healthy this winter and throughout the year. Hall Zinc Defense. Is your defense system ready? Clog situses. Pressure. Pain. I'll take something. Now I'm groggy, disconnected. Medicine Head should have taken Sudafed. Sudafed sinus relieves pain and pressure without drowsiness. Sudafed for a clear head, not medicine head. Oh, I'm in love. Huh? Not you. The frosting. Oh. It's calling my name. Janet? I'm yours. Give in to the rich and creamy temptation of Betty Crocker frosting. That was great. You know what? Kids who have mentors do better in school. 
They're less likely to fight or use drugs or drink. Mentors really matter. Will you help? Make this your next call. Children first. Next, it's Jill's first Christmas without her father, and it's the toughest one she'll have to face. I'm having some trouble having to see you with another man, okay? An emotional home improvement. And you tell all your friends your dad built that. And a hilarious holiday hiller and diller. Hey, everybody, look what my dad built. ABC Tonight. The Santa's on strike? Ho, ho, ho. Only a miracle can save this Spin City Christmas. Look, it's pretty obvious. You guys got us by the uh, jingle bells. And Dharma's Christmas? Spending it with Greg's family. Hi, I'm Dharma. So did you marry Greg for his money? Oh, well, open hostility. It's all ABC Wednesday. He's still up there. Still up there. Still up there. <gasps> He's still up there. Andy, get away from the window. Kenny, I need one of your jackets. I'm not gonna give that elf my jacket. If he jumps, his guts are gonna splatter all over it. And the Nobel Prize for Compassion goes to Kenny Weber. Okay, how about this? You distract him, I'll sneak up and we'll wrestle the little freak to the ground. Great. Then the three of us will die. No problem. I'll just set up Meredith's new trampoline under the steeple. You got Meredith a trampoline? No fair. All you got me was a... <laughs> Still wrapped under the tree. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it is. All right. I'm going to go try to talk him down. Todd, take care of things here. Uh, Father Mike, in my seminary crisis management class, they uh, taught us to always remember the word care. C, communicate. A, analyze the situation. R, find a relative. E. What about E? Maybe it's the sound they make when they jump. E! <laughs> I'm going up into the belfry. Prayers will help. I got you a jacket. It's kind of cold. And some coffee, but... Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little afraid of heights. Unless I'm surrounded by an airplane. <laughs> oh, so, Mr. Gumdrop. You know, I feel kind of funny calling a grown man Gumdrop. Uh, could you tell me your real name, please? Zvorna Kriginske Ravlisto Skivititskov. Okay. Gumdrop it is, then. Uh, your, uh, your parents were Russian, were they? No, Irish, you big schmo. And I don't want to talk about my parents. They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Must be kind of sad spending the holidays without a family. Yeah, but your call and attention to it sure helps. Well, Fred and Meredith are supposed to sleep. What's all this? Uh, Dad's Christmas present. Free samples from the mall. <laughs> Free samples? After all that man has done for you two, you couldn't even reach in your own pockets? Well, Dad said not to spend our money on him. Well, couldn't you at least do something that would make him really happy, like run away from home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible. <laughs> Dad does love it when we make him stuff. Maybe we can snap some pictures of ourselves and make them into a photo collage, like we did in our class. We could use a Polaroid camera that Dad got from Glinda. <gasps> Have you guys been peeking at the presents? Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Shame. Oh, man, I wonder if Glinda got him any film. Small package in the corner with the red bow. <laughs> Now you know how I feel. Kids do that to me all day. Oh, look at the elf. He's so cute. He's so cute. I get the message. If somebody throws up on Santa, who do you think cleans it up, Santa? Oh, no, not the almighty Mr. Claus. First words out of Fatso's mouth are, oh, ho, gumdrop, get the wet back. Right, I guess I got to admit, your job bites. <laughs> 
Not anymore. Santa told me that next year I'm being replaced by an animatronic elf. <laughs> I want to put my foot right up his hole, ho, ho. <laughs> That's bad. You're being downsized and you're already an elf. <laughs> Thank you. Last Christmas, my wife left me. This Christmas, I lost my job. And to top it off, today's my birthday. Oh, really? Today's your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> you know what it's like having the same birthday as Jesus? Do you think I was ever the birthday boy? No, it's always baby Jesus this and baby Jesus that. <laughs> Well, he is our Lord and Savior, sent here to this world to redeem us all. Oh, you too, huh? <laughs> now, let's face it. I'm insignificant. No. I'm useless. No, no. I'm just a parsley on the plate of life. No, no. I, I don't matter to anybody. You matter to God. All right. That's why he always sends me a birthday card. <laughs> But, but wait, God cared enough about you to get my kids to drag me down to the mall yesterday so that I could get irritated at you, so you could get mad at me, so you'd come back here to my roof to try to jump so I could tell you how much God cares about you. Does God always work and run on sentences? <laughs> Look, you, you think this is a coincidence? A suicidal elf and a... A minister who's afraid of heights? Up here, stargazing and looking at the heavens? No. Because Christmas is one day of the year where there's real magic. I don't feel any magic. You, you just gotta try. See, I, I believe that thoughts create energy. And right now, all the dreams, wishes, prayers in the world are filling this night. And, well, that's where the magic comes from. And you can feel it. All you gotta do is, is just be quiet and listen. And contemplate. This calm, beautiful, hope-filled, love-filled night. you said, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. Daddy? Mr. Elf? Fred, what are you doing? Go back inside. It's freezing out here. I came out to see if Santa came yet. He's on his way, son. Uh, but uh, guess what? Today is Mr. Gumdrop's birthday. Cool. Happy birthday, Gumdrop. You see, somebody cares it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gumdrop. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Still feel you're not important? We don't have any birthday cake, but we have milk and cookies. Can I warm up the milk with some whiskey? <laughs> Rebel yell? Deal. <laughs> Hold on, little man. Mr. Elf is gonna drink all the milk he can before Santa arrives. Thanks. And happy birthday. You're not going anywhere, you sick twisted oh, little. Oh, oh, oh. No, Todd, it's all right. It's okay. He's he's not gonna jump. What? He's not gonna jump. We're we're going back in. It's fine. Oh. Good. Well. Be careful, because it can be very slippery! Soul Man will continue in a moment, here on ABC. Okay, Bongo, wave. Bye-bye. 
Bye bye. Come on, he's never gonna get it. Finally learned to wave bye-bye. The new redesigned Ford Ranger, the only compact pickup built Ford Tough. When Christmas shopping comes around, I go to Walmart. I can get everything from our decorations to the kids' toys, anything that I need. I more or less push the car. I do the work. Bill supervises. We've got children spread all over this world. So if I find something that's really neat, I'll just buy like half a dozen. I love to find a great deal, especially at Christmas time. We get the stuff, box it up, out it goes. Walmart it has helped me save money for 30 years. On sale now. Jungle Bells, Jungle Bells, treat your family. George is now on video. Hey, watch out for that. Ah! A swinging holiday gift. Are you looking for that red hot gift this holiday? That gift that's hotter than hot. The one on everyone's list? Then come to Wendy's and get a spicy chicken sandwich. It's very hot. And why are you there? Say hello to Dave. George, the Sprint store at Radio Shack was a great idea for holiday shopping. I can get a decorator phone for Rosie, an answering machine for Elroy. I could be programming numbers and reading directions to the next millennium. I can help with that. I am Sprint certified. He can make sense out of anything. And I can save you 25% if you sign up for Sprint Long Distance. Great! Wrap them up. We'll give them to your mother. Beautiful. Wrap up a telephone or answering machine for 25% off when you sign up for Sprint Long Distance. The new Sprint store at Radio Shack. A public service from the ABC Viewing Enhancement Department. For the first time on network television. I'm pregnant. Emma Thompson, Danny DeVito, and Arnold deliver. Is this your first? Yes. Junior, ABC Sunday. See the mobile the boys made me? Yeah. Hey, you guys. Great present. Thanks. This is excellent milk. <laughs> you must give me the name of your dairy. This is great. Bishop, Todd, after the service, feel free to come back for a fantastic Christmas dinner. We're having country-style ham. All right, ham. Ha ha! Ham, 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 ham. Merry Christmas, Weber family. We're here. Did she tell you she was bringing a date? What is that? Your Christmas ham. That's not ham. That's a pig. And where do you think ham comes from? A can at the supermarket. Does he have a name? Yes. Babe. Aww. Now, let's draw straws to see who gets to slaughter the little piggy. Oh, I don't think so, witchy woman. This is one of God's creatures. Todd, don't play with your food. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't hurt, babe. Daddy, I just want peanut butter. Glenda, do we have anything else? How about lentil loaf and a turnip pie? It's been nice knowing you, babe. 